Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with another budget bathroom makeover. I'm so super excited. If you guys haven't checked out the last one, almost three years ago, coming this December, I did a budget makeover for under 50 bucks or 50 bucks and I loved it. So it's just time to refresh and with all the farm Ray Dunn inspired items that I absolutely love, I had to redo the bathroom over. So on a budget, of course. So a lot of items that I got, I purchased from the Dollar Tree or Walmart or Target. Um, so easy items to find, inexpensive, and then I did a bunch of DIYs. Now the DIYs I found everywhere. Pinterest, some I made on my own, YouTube. It's just a plethora of DIY, Ray Dunn inspired, farmhouse, Dollar Tree, decor, uh, videos everywhere that you can find so I kind of mix and match a bunch of them that I like to have a little playlist and I just went to town so I'm gonna upload these videos over the next of the cup over the course uh, of the next few days so that I won't bombard you with a very long video of all the DIYs but they're very easy and um, fast so I figured I'd just do them over a couple days and then the big reveal will happen on the last day once all the DIYs are done so you can try these DIYs I'll try to post the inspiration videos or Pinterest or um, blog that I found the items from or that I was inspired from down below in the description box so you guys can check out the originals if I have them available I will have those down there because I like to give credit so I'll have those down below in the description box we're gonna start out with this first one I'm so excited about this one it is a soap and lotion dispenser holder um, and it sits right in the corner of the bathroom and it looks so 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 cute everything came together like I said easily and beautifully and fast and fun so um, I hope you guys are inspired by these as well so stay tuned for the next videos I'll probably have on the same shirt because I'm gonna record all these intros right now so um, I didn't do all these in the same day it was a course of a couple weeks that I was able to work on these projects so I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the video for this easy soap dispenser I hope you enjoy it be sure to like the video if you like it, share it, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time on the next DIY or at the big reveal. Alright guys, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, starting out, I'm going to use some items from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this galvanized pail. Uh, you can get that from the spring or floral section, the planting section. I'm also going to use a pie pan and a package of uh, six beads from the party section. I'm using some chalk paint in white from Walmart and some foam brushes you're also going to need or I used a little bit of black satin paint I got that from Target these two soap dishes also came from the Dollar Tree dis dispensers so what I'm going to do is remove the handle because it was broken from the pail it does come with two and I'm going to take the sticker off the pie pan and grab some sandpaper this sandpaper came from the Dollar Tree as well, nice thick pack. And because it's metal, I'm going to uh, just uh, rough the edges up a little bit so that the chalk paint can adhere a whole bunch better. Um, so I'm just going to protect my little counter here and I'm going to start painting with this chalk paint. So you really only need one coat when you're doing this chalk paint. Um, but I really wanted a thick white uh, coat so I did two uh, but it does have great coverage especially if you use a little bit of sandpaper on your surface this is a slicker metal surface both of these items are so I want to make sure that I had a great coverage so two I guess would be I guess would be a great number to coat both the pie pan and the galvanized bucket Chalk paint dries very, very fast, so I let the first coat dry while I did something else, and then once it got dried, I added the second coat and let that sit to dry. Like, it really does not take a very long time for um, to add these coats, but you want to make sure that they are dry in between the layers. So now my bucket and my pie pan has dried. The two coats are making it just look so vibrant and white, so I actually love using a chalk paint on just about everything so i love the outcome so next thing you want to do is just attach these two together i'm using e6000 glue which is the best glue this is going to be in the bathroom we want it to be secure it's going to be holding some porcelain 
uh, soap and lotion dispenser. So use the better glue, which is the E6000. You could use hot glue if you are impatient um, on the inside and the E6000 on the outside until it takes time to set. But I let this sit overnight, flipped it up upside down and put something heavy in between and just let it set up overnight. That way I know it's absolutely secure. All right, that has set overnight. So I painted the beads from the party section at the Dollar Tree with some black flat uh, or matte spray paint a couple times and I let those sit in the garage overnight. So I had to turn them a couple times because they're round. So I did one layer, let it, let it sit out for like a half an hour, 40 minutes, and then I flipped it over onto another surface so they don't um, transfer old spray paint. And all I'm doing is attaching it with hot glue. I'm going to do the top and the bottom. I think I only used two beads for the whole thing uh, and you get six for a dollar, but um, very easy. You could use E6000 for this if you wanted, but this is just a decorative element and it, the beads are plastic. So the hot glue did a great job of melding that into the metal. So I did a row on the top and a row on the bottom. Now that that's complete, I finished it off with some clear matte sealant to seal in that chalk paint. So I'm going to take the dispensers and I'm going to spray paint it with some flat paint from Rust-Oleum and I'm going to uh, seal it with some clear um, sealant as well. All I did was tape, type out um, lotion and soap on my Silhouette Cameo using some black matte vinyl and I attached it to the dispensers to label which one was soap and which one was lotion. So those again have been sprayed with a clear matte medium to seal that in. And I use a concoction for my soaps. So I love this Dermacil lotion from the Dollar Tree. It's super thick and it coats, especially it's good with people with eczema or super severe dry skin in Minnesota. You kind of get that a lot. So I use a mixture of the Dermacil. However, I do love using uh, extra virgin olive oil and baby oil. So I decided to mix all of those and I've been doing that for years. So it creates a more smoother texture um, for the dispensers and great coverage for your hands. So once I loaded the, the lotion and the soap into the dispensers, I washed it down really well to make sure that there was no liquid oozing out and um, it would be nice and secure. Tightened it all up and added it to the display I just created. So I did finish off this little display with a faux succulent that I got from the Dollar Tree. I painted the bottom of that white to match everything else and that was it. Easy peasy. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time with the next installment of Budget Bathroom Makeover. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys soon. Bye.